Testimony of 5 Minutes in Hell by Ayamalia. Please subscribe to this channel just in case you don't want to miss out our next episode of Testimony of Heaven and Hell and Messages from Jesus to His Church. My name is Malia, Philippines. I was raised a Christian, I knew my religion, but I didn't know God. When I was a teenager 13 to 16 years, I became a carnal Christian and I went to church but also loved the world. Until one day, on March 2011 my mom brought me the testimony of Angelica Zambrano, a girl who testified heaven and hell. After reading, I cried repenting and confessing all of my sins. I had another vision encounter with the Lord in January 2015. I can still remember the very details of the scene. It was a time when I drifted back to becoming a lukewarm Christian. I was in a heavy trial. I even doubted about my calling and things taught by the Lord, see my first testimony. One morning I woke up at exactly 5 a.m. because I had to prepare breakfast for my younger sister. After that, the Holy Spirit told me to read my Bible, but why? Because I was lukewarm, isn't it? Revelation 3 15 minus 16 inches I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. I got my Bible and turned it to the book of Lamentations 322-28 where it tells the unconditional love of the Lord. That it is always new in the morning. That great is thy faithfulness. After reading this, I cried to the Lord and asked Him to forgive me for being a lukewarm. After that I felt sleepy and started falling asleep in just a second. While asleep, my spiritual senses became active as I entered a dream vision. I knew my position while sleeping and I am aware of what's happening. In this dream vision the scene terrified me, because I saw myself hanging upside down. A white rope ties all my hands and feet. Yes, I can still remember. And the rope was coming from above, and I noticed I was spotlighted. I shouted, Lord, help me, where am I, why am I here? However, nobody answered but I knew the light coming from above was the light of the Lord. My eyes wandered to see where I am. I was greatly startled when I realized I was in hell. I saw magma or lava. I saw a lake or sea of fire that seemed to be boiling or burning sulfur. I also saw literal flames encircled and spread on that place. I guess that makes that place reddish and yellowish orange but the whole background was darkness. There's no source of light at all. I noticed also that it was hot there. And I mean the hottest of the hottest. It felt like I am inside of a volcano. It was so irritating. A person couldn't take stand of it. It seems like my skin is starting to drip off and melt. And yes, I could feel it on my body. I also noticed that the air was so thick and toxic that I couldn't breathe normally. Lastly, I noticed my teeth gnashing. I don't know why. Upon seeing this, I cried and shouted again, Oh Lord, my God. Take me out of this place. Rev 14.10, He himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Suddenly I heard someone speak, My daughter, haven't I told you we were going here? I answered, Yes but, why am I tied up? Why am I here? Don't you love me anymore? My daughter, I love you so much and the reason why I brought you here is to testify. Here is where the disobedient, the unfaithful, unbelievers and all sinners belong. He answered in a still, sweet and calm voice. But Lord, I don't like it this way. Take me out of here. I cried in fear. But he said, you have to experience this, my daughter. Meanwhile, I saw four demons approaching me. They look so horrible. They had horns on their heads. Their face looked like angry beasts, they were muscular and their skin's color was dirty red. It was so frightening. When they approached me, some of them exclaimed, Ha ha. At last, there's another Christian has arrived here. We've been waiting for you, and they all laughed. I got extremely terrified. After that, they submerged me in burning sulfur that was just below me. I screamed in terror, No. I have also felt it on my body. It was so painful so unbearable that no man shall be able to stand it. While completely submerged, suddenly I was lifted up by the rope and they disappeared. I thought my skin had already melted because of the tremendous heat, 
but surprisingly, it came back to normal. Matt 1834 35 inches and his master was angry, and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due to him. So my heavenly father also will do to you if each of you, from his heart, does not forgive his brother his trespasses. I wept and called the Lord, my Lord, I don't want to stay here. Please take me out of here. I can't take this any longer, he didn't answer. All of a sudden, I saw little insects, which are unfamiliar to me, and they were thousands of them. They started crawling all over my body and I screamed in terror, oh, Lord, help me. Then I saw a big scorpion with a sharp teeth crawling at my back and it bit me and again I screamed in terror. I also felt the biddings on my body. That was so real. I never screamed and cried like this in my whole life. Again I called to the Lord and pleaded him to take me out of this place and finally they were gone. Then the Lord said, My daughter, you have to experience this. Those are the things a person will experience when they arrived here. And then I saw a screen with another vision flashed before my eyes. I saw a spider web. And the Lord said, Look what the devil has done to you. You were lukewarm because he has trapped you. Then I saw myself on that screen. My eyes are blindfolded. He said, He has blindfolded you because you let him do so. He has deceived you because you let him. But you know my love for you never changed. I still love you like before. Then I saw the blindfold being untied on my eyes and the spider fled. The Lord spoke again, Look, I am untying it. I am delivering you from all deception he has made. Don't you know that I called you? Could you still remember the time when you have seen me many times? Why are you downcast? Don't doubt anymore. All the things you have seen from the very beginning are real. I am the same today, yesterday and forever. I love you so much. After hearing those, I wept. I didn't utter any words. I was silenced in full awe. And I noticed my breathing isn't as usual as here on earth. It was only twice every minute. Again a screen was flashed before my eyes. The Lord showed me my organs, intestines, stomach, lungs, heart, my ribs, bones and the like. The Lord spoke, here in hell, you will have a complete set of organs. You will hear, see, touch, taste and smell. And because there's no source of good air here, you will hardly breathe. The scriptures warn, do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. But rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Matt 1028 I cried and pleaded him to take me out of this place and here are his final words, which I can still recall before leaving that hell. My daughter, I have called you. I have chosen you. Now, write all of this and share it to all people. Don't fret nor be afraid of them, for I will uphold you. I will help you. I will strengthen you and anoint you. Just call unto me. I will answer. I will be with you. Until the end of age. You must always pray, worship and read my words. Wear the full armor so you can withstand all his schemes. I love you so much. And behold, I am coming soon. I am coming soon. After hearing those words, I was awakened and I felt my spirit and soul was all worn out. My breathing became unusual as if I ran a wide arena. I felt the tiredness in my soul. I immediately ran to the kitchen and drank a glass of water. After that I fell on my knees and worshipped him. I wept and prayed, afterwards I had an unexplainable, unspeakable joy. I know the Lord loves me and he is with me. If you have read this and are unbeliever, lukewarm, carnal and backslidden Christian, please do kneel now. Confess all unrighteousness you have done. It doesn't matter how small or how big it was. It doesn't matter how long you have been backslidden, it doesn't matter. You know what matters the most. Your relationship with the Lord. Your own salvation. Your life after death. What if you die later or this day? Where do think you are going? To heaven. To hell. You have to decide right now. As in now. Not later. Not tomorrow. Not the other day. So please, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. He didn't die for the perfect ones. He died for sinners like you and me. Come on just call upon his name and be saved. The Lord wants you to experience life abundantly. He did not made hell for you. He doesn't want you to perish but have eternal life. Come to Jesus. He loves you so much. Matt 5 29. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you. 
for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish, than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Rev 21. 8 inches but the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. John 3, 3, 7 Jesus said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You must be born.